All right, hello everybody. We are back, and I'm going to be showing you my test results for Google Chrome version 28. Uh, we're going to go to Google first and do a quick, simple RAM test. Whoops, there we go. And Google Chrome sits at using uh, 37 megs. That's actually lighter up. 37, uh, 45. 45.7 all right so it's slightly less than uh, Internet Explorer which is really good I'm glad to see them do that uh, we're gonna see how small the file is uh, or how large Google Chrome is compared to other browsers and uh, wow Google Chrome is 364 megabytes that is actually kinda gigantic 26 megabytes kind of gigantic for our browser but we're gonna leave it we won't judge we're not gonna judge all right now we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna do our HTML5 test and I'm already expecting it to beat out uh, Internet Explorer wow which it did out of 463 compared to Internet Explorer's uh, 30, 320 and that's a 3 test I'm expecting it to get in the 70's range uh, it should be slightly better than what it, whoa. Than what it used to be oh wait not the acid three. All right, acid three tests. It got a hundred. So where's the pass? Pass. CSS three. I'm expecting to get in the like the seventies percent range. Oh, sixty five. What went wrong? Images linear grading. Yeah, cool. that's not gonna read this tag. This one reads all the selectors perfectly. The color index doesn't work, and it sucks on the basic user interface which could use a lot of work but it got a uh, solid 65 compared to uh, Internet Explorer's um, 54 and the final test is going to be our speed test and we're going to compare it and I'm probably not going to see much of a difference here and it'll probably either be like 32 or 33 for the for my ping is what we're looking for here Oh wait, we do Phoenix just like I did last time. Yeah, I'm 30. I got the same exact score. Download speed's far greater. If you saw my last video, then you'll see that um, it's far it's far better. And now we got 30. So the speed looks the same. Um, I would do a timer test to see how long it takes to load a web page, but that'd be a lot of work. And I just did the basic uh, running and. I actually came out. These scores are actually pretty good. I don't know why my upload speed is now lower. And I don't. Things keep changing. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video where we be where we will be covering Firefox version 22. If you remember my last video, I wasn't very pleased with Firefox. Let's just see if they stepped up their game. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.